Each year, GAN releases an expensive limited edition of their flagship speed cube in some weird theme. Up until now, these limited editions were just fancy color mods that looked cool. But this year's GAN 14 Maglev Galaxy is actually something quite unique. To show you what I'm talking about, let's unbox this guy. By the way, what do you think of my background decoration? That's literally everything I had in my hotel room. I have to warn you though, because shocking hazard. Ooh, that looks even better. Are you guys ready? Ooh, is that magnetic? Ooh, ooh. But what do we actually have? We have this paper. Oh, it's a postcard. But aside from that, we have two things. Oh no, we have more things. We have that. <laughs> And we have this box with accessories. Now, first of all, the papers that come with the cube is the same as we always get. But this is actually a GAN 14 Maglev, which is the current flagship cube of GAN. And it comes with so many features that we're definitely going to take a look at later. Even the box is so beautiful. How did they do it? I mean, they just printed cardboard, but... Oh, this is the adjustment tool. That's so beautiful. Wow. Then we have bag. That is some Gucci right there. This is beautiful. And then here we have the stickers. And then finally, guys, we have... Ah, oh, this box looks like it has stars in it. This looks like the galaxy. And that's exactly the theme of this cube. So, are you guys ready to see what the cube looks like? Wow. Okay, this actually looks so cool. Like, you can see the internals, right? I can do first turns. Let's see... What else comes in the box? This seems to be greenish. And we have this extra smaller adjustment tool that just fell down. Now that we sit down, let's do some real first turns. All right, not bad. But the thing is, we're not solving anything. So let's solve that. <laughs> by applying the first sticker set. Now, these are the special ones. I wanna install these first to see what's so special about them, and then switch to the normal stickers to see how well of a speed cube it is. Ooh, ooh, what? What is all this stuff? I didn't expect that. So, let's try to not mess it up this time. Here's a little time lapse. Like, now you can see how bad I stickered the cube. Like, look at these bubbles. But anyways, obviously, we need to do a solve on this special sticker set. But before we do that, let's analyze what's actually on each side. So each side of the cube has a different color on it. And each side on top of it has a constellation attached to it. There's always, like, one full sticker in, like, the full color. That sticker has, like, the pattern you want to have on that side. As you can see, here we have the pattern. And here is the example. So that is going to be really useful because if we can get that sticker on the right side, we can kind of see what pattern we need to create. Let's go. I hope I do not regret this. Oh boy. Like these colors are all over the place. I'm pretty sure this is white. Like white and blue are so similar, but this has to be white. So let's start with finding the cross pieces. Let's start with this guy. So this is the white example sticker let's just align it to the green center but first let's align the pattern and then we can bring it down so now we already know what pattern we need to have these two dots are these little two dots right here so let's just go ahead and align them already so we have this center is aligned and this center is already aligned but now let's go for the next center piece and why don't we just go with the blue one now we have this line and I think these two are connected. I'm not sure yet, but we can always like change the center orientation later in the solve. We have the red one over here. Just like that. Now for the red center, I think this little dot is that one right there. So let's put it that way. So we know this is in the correct position. So we're almost done with the cross. We just need the orange cross piece, which is gonna be... oh. It's right there. So we have our cross ready. I know this is difficult to see, but um, I think we're doing a great job. I think the next one is going to be easier because now we just have to look for corners that have white in them. Like this one has blue and red in it. So uh, blue, red, and just insert that corner. And I know for a fact that this one is correct. Same for this one. Green, orange. And this is green and orange. We just insert it and bam. This one has white in it, but it's not in the correct slot. So we're going to take it out. Uh, orange, blue, which is here. Just like that. 
And look at that, guys. We're almost done. We just need to have one more, which is a red and green corner. And there we go. So we're done with the white side and all of the corners are in place. And I'm pretty sure the centers are in the correct orientation. So let's just go ahead and do the second layer. So this is going to be pretty easy. Just look for two colors that aren't yellow. Um, it's actually not so easy because like all of these colors look like orange and yellow. Like I cannot tell the difference to be honest. Okay, let's say this is orange. So we're going to insert that in the correct spot. And yes, this one is solved. Okay, we have bad news. All of the next edges are in the wrong slot. So let's actually try something. So this is blue and red, which needs to go right here. So if I can actually take the corner from the other side right here, we have a pair. Let's take it out and insert it into the back. And ta-da! Now we're doing F2 well on this cube. Nice. So the last piece for the F2 well and the entire first two layers are done. So after first two layers, we need to do the last layers. And for that, we're going to recognize a pattern on top with yellow stickers. But now yellow, orange, tomato, tomato, it looks exactly the same on this cube, which is going to be really tough. But I think this is orange and these are yellow. I'm not entirely sure, though. So this should be an anti soon, but it wasn't because these are correct. This one is and these are not. So should be that case. I think we might have the yellow top now. So let's start to recognize the patterns on the side. This is a bar, I think. Yeah, because the red side is finished, right? And the rest is no bar. So that should be an F berm. <gasps> Did we finish the cube? This side is correct. This side is correct. 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 Ah, <gasps> uh, and we're almost done because right now the center needs to do a U2. Now we're just going to do two Y perms to fix that. And ta-da, we have solved the GAN Galaxy Cube with the special sticker set. Now, actually, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> but now, this is a GAN 14 maglev. This is made for speed. So we're going to look at the inside. And oh boy, that looks cool. The pink corner looks ridiculously cool. We have a lot of magnets. If I take a corner and an edge, we have traditional magnets. And we can adjust them this time just like that but on top of that we have magnets in the core and the corner whoop, whoop, whoop. it's almost impossible to misalign this cube because the auto alignment is so good and you can adjust these magnets right here and as you can see if i change the magnet strength the magnet in the stem actually changes distance this cube has maglev which means that it replaces a spring by using two opposite magnets la di da di da we've heard this before but the cool thing about the gan 14 is that Using this tool, like this fire hydrant, it is so easy to adjust this system. The middle ring is kind of the performance and the outer ring is how controllable the cube is. Using this tool, it becomes so easy to change this stuff. So let's see, if I do this, will the cube pop? What? My GAN 14 at home was popping easily on this setting and this one does not. Did they change something? I don't know. Let's do some souls with it. But to do some souls with it, I will have to pop on some normal stickers. Epic transition. And voila. Wow. This is actually one of the first times I did a decent job with stickering a cube. So this is what it looks like. I don't know. It, <laughs> it kind of looks like a normal stickered gang cube, doesn't it? I'm kind of happy with it. So for the first few souls, I had all of the settings on the fastest setting. So the loosest compression, the loosest center travel, kind of as a test because my other GAN 14 would pop constantly on this setting. And funnily enough, after doing some normal souls, it was super awkward because the cube is hella fast, but it wasn't popping. I, I did get some corner twists now and then, but it wasn't popping. So that makes me believe they did change something with the GAN 14. Because even after doing 45 degrees corner cuts and really spamming the cube, nothing happens. This was impossible with the GAN 14 I had laying at home. And then I went to the other side of the spectrum and set all of the settings to the most controllable. So tightest compression, tightest center travel. And this was the result. It was actually a cube that performed pretty well for my turning style. I noticed that I could slow this cube down, which I couldn't really do with the cube I had laying at home. And keep in mind, this cube is unloot because I didn't have any loop with me at the hotel. And then I tried the middle settings to kind of gauge what my ideal setup would be like. 
Now, I was performing kind of equally good on these, on these settings and the most controllable settings, but I noticed that I was overshooting now and then. But despite that, I was getting some wonderful souls, and the cube really felt super enjoyable to solve with. The different plastic they used for this limited edition GAN really made it feel different. And then finally, the settings I settled on was two for the center travel, and I believe three clicks for the compression. Bam, 6.9. So yeah, I had some fun with this cube, but $90 is still ridiculous. But if you do want to buy anything cubing related, please go to thecubicle.com and use discount code CUPED for a huge discount. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Ciao!